people's favorite matchmaking. And then when I see people like praising Gears 2 matchmaking, I'm like, damn, like, yeah, it was kind of good. But there are so many other games with better matchmaking, like Halo 2, for example, Halo 3, for example. I'm still I felt upset like it that no other game ever even duplicated Halo 3's or Halo 2's I matchmaking. I think it's tough, system. though, because didn't like, the people even that worked on. That's the best ranking system I think I've ever played. No one I think, ever that, yeah, the even, best like, ranking I ever played in my life again. was Halo 2. Like, somebody had, had a patent and they was like, F all, y'all, this is mine. Like, y'all go well, no, did it. Did, Microsoft did it? made True Skill off of that same format. And True Skill uh, was awful. But it wasn't. True Skill is configurable. Uh, if you were to look at what match times were back in the Halo 2 and Halo 3 days, they were like uh, way, way longer than what's considered acceptable, acceptable nowadays. Uh, True Skill on its own is okay if you, you, you pick how long you want the thing to look for players, basically. And what was found over time, and what Call of Duty, I think, capitalized on really heavily, was that no, most players just prefer to get no match. Didn't care well, about. I mean, most what, players what? chose to rather not get a matchmaking uh, rather than get an easy game. Is what you tried to say, just to, to clarify? Yeah, they just want to get into a game, and start shooting stuff. Like that's the that's what most people want. Um, so it ends up being that every single game that releases starts tweaking that more and more and more towards match times and away from match quality. And you end yeah. up with stuff that... It's so crap. crazy, though, bro, because the thing is, is like when you go back and you look at Halo 2, right, and you and you look at that game and the way the matchmaking was done, I guess the real reason it was just so successful is just because it had such a large player base. And at the well, time, as an FPS, the... it right. didn't have... You don't think they did? You don't think Halo 2 had a big player place when we were By playing back in the day? to uh, more modern products. Uh, if you look oh, at no, it, more modern. Yeah, no, it doesn't If you compare. look at sales data, for example, Gears 3, sure. I think, sold five to ten times as much as Gears 1. It was a lot. Like, yeah. sold way more better than Gears 1. Gears but Judgment. Do you know what compared say, to Halo 2? Uh, I don't know the exact numbers, but I'd imagine that Halo 3 had more players than Halo 2, and I imagine that Reach had more players. The reason I bring the reason I bring it up is because like back in the day, I just remember when I was playing Halo 2, if I ever made a new account, I could always get matches really quick. You know, it didn't take me long to get a match until I was in like the mid 40s. Like when I was in like, I think the four, like 44, I think the highest, I think the highest, I think the highest rank I ever <laughs> achieved without like. Because I didn't cheat or anything like that. I think the highest I ever re received was like 47 and maybe 48 in Big Team Battle. Yeah, I, I got 48 squad. was my highest with Shy Guy. It was like 47 or 48 in Halo 2. And then <laughs> well, Halo 3, no. getting a 50 was, e was way easier. But I just, I just want to say that whole division, whole, uh, fucking whole division trust the process. Because if the ranking system worked, and my fault, if the ranking system matched you up against equal skill, right? Yeah, like the lower tier players, it may be more of them. But over time, shouldn't it each tier of the queue kind of get balanced out as more people progress and more people get brought to the game? Like, isn't it something like make the correct ranking system and have the patience for it to get populated? But nowadays, is what you see is people don't want it at all, Blaze. Yeah. They don't want what at all? They don't want match rank at all. They just want to be able to hop in the games, I think, for the most part, well, and be able that, to hop out without problems, right? The I people guess. that are most vocal on forums tend to be in the top 50% of skill level or whatever. And because they've played games now between uh, Call of Duty, Fortnite, uh, I don't know how many other games. Uh, Battle Royale in general kind of lends yeah. itself to this. Um, but they play games that don't have it and now are in a position where it's like, oh, these games that don't have it, I'm really successful in. Uh, I get lots of kills. I stop everyone. I have fun. Um, this is better than me winning 50% of the time. Uh, mm -hmm. And those are people that are vocal on forums that post. So the outcry that's happening across uh, Call of Duty is dealing with it right now, Fortnite dealt with it, um, mm -hmm. is, hey, like, matchmaking's bad. Uh, so, like, that reinforces the true skill thing, which happened over time, which is that, like, hey, match quality doesn't matter to most people, surprisingly. Yeah, uh, is it? Is, is I, got a, I got a question for you then. I'm, I'm curious. Oh, were you done with, you know with your points, guy? Because your mic kind of. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it was it. Okay, okay. I, I just had a feeling, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, nah, you good. But and by the when, way, um, yeah, we're going we to we start coming down to the close. Yeah, switching close, it. Close, yeah. yeah, either yeah, switch sure. it towards the end, maybe talk about active reload, fragile logic, even touch bases on that. And then we'll wrap it up because we gonna approach like towards the two hour yeah. and a half mark. Yeah, this podcast. It, it, gets, but it, gets, it gets up yeah, there. Yeah, it's gonna get posted up, and y'all enjoying it, it in the chat, and y'all y'all listening to it. 
Uh, you know, but you know, when when the people go back and, and rewatch it, I, I don't want them to. You know, I'm on my Joe Rogan shit today. You know, I, <laughs> I don't want them to have a two and a half, three hour podcast. Yeah, wrap wrap, wrap it up, wrap it up, type of thing. Yeah. yeah the, the, the last question I would ask to have to do with any of this stuff because I'm just curious what you guys will say. Is, is there a way to have an option? Like, is that a thing? I've never really seen it in a game before, but are you allowed to have, like, okay, let's just say I, I log into the game, and today I'm going to play matchmaking, and TC's redone all of matchmaking, and it's way better. Is there a way to have an option of, okay, I want to go for, you know, finding quicker matches or preferring quicker matches or, you know, just getting, like, um, you know, matchmaking with people of similar skill level and they figure out how to do that. Because I swear there was a game that did that. W wasn't it one of the Halos? I can't remember which one. But I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, just going off of memory from a while ago, that one of the Halos you could choose, like, which one you wanted. I almost want to say it was Halo 3. Like, I actually think to it was that. To be able to choose which what? Yeah, like, like you wanted to choose if you wanted a quicker matchmaking time or mm -hmm. if you would like to have, like, people of similar skill sets. Uh, a mm -hmm. part of me wants to say that you were able to put a preference in there, and that was done, I believe, in Halo 3. And honestly, when looking back at it, I feel like Halo 3 had so many different things that if Gears of War had those things, it just would be a much more complete game. And obviously, without talking about balancing of weapons and things like that, it'd be, it'd be making people much more likely to play. But yeah, um, Pot mm -hmm. even was saying in the chat, Population it had to filter sure. like faster game, more equal mm -hmm. skill, etc. And that's what I'm talking about. Do you guys think that something like that would be useful in Gears of War 5 and maybe would help make TC's job a little bit easier so it's not necessarily end-all, be-all to one side, but trying to find something to where we could satisfy different demographics of players. Is that a solution that could be useful? I mean, if the population isn't there for people that want It's not there yet, right? Yeah, that, like, that was the other thing no I was what, worried about. No and we, and like, we have a so yeah, many... I was, worried, I was also, worried about that. Unlike VR, is like we have like so many different game types, and we have so many different levels of that, right? From quick play to you do hop in the rank playlist, and then you got your core... You got your core yeah. King of the Hill, Execution, Guardian, and now Escalation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? And you still got your core Guardian people and Escalation, Execution, and King of the Hill people. And don't forget about the TDM, which was one of the worst things that we did because we never came yes. back from adding TDM in Gears 3. Like, no. we oh once God. TDM got added to Gears 3, shit, you know, the matchmaking went in a whole different route. People were like, TDM, I know TDM. I play TDM every game. Let's go fucking play some TDM. And they never left. Okay, we never see those people ever again. They've been there since the shit came out and we still don't have it out for it.